<laughs> oh, hey, I didn't see you there. All right. You know, in this channel, we're used to reviewing some really top-notch shit. Uh, we got clean skins. We got uh, Alka Pops. We got all sorts of stuff. But today, we've got something extra special. We've got something fancy. Now, just before I forget, uh, because this whole thing happened because I forgot... Uh, one of you sent me a message suggesting something I could review and I just realized I forgot to get back to you with uh, some mailing details. So that's certainly going to happen. Keep an eye out for that. It's going to be real fucking cool. All right. So with that in mind, let's review something fancy. So what we have here is fancy wine. Um, so... On my way to the clean skins at Dan Murphy's, I noticed they had these bins of wine out. Now, these are like the, the half barrel things, so they keep the really discounted, cheap, shitty wines in. And you know, you know me, I'm always on board with that. So, here we are, and we're going to look at this guy. Fancy. Now, this was $7, so it certainly falls into the, the sort of price point, which is correct, but it's also fancy. That's good. All right. Fancy. Uh, fancy? Fancy. Yeah, I don't know, it's not gonna focus today, fuck it. Either that or I'm not really... Okay. It's not focusing at all. What the hell? It's racist. All right, camera's not focusing today. Let's not worry about that because we're doing fancy things today. All right, so fancy, let's have a look here. Ooh, now you can't really see this good, but don't worry, I can. It's really shitting me off. It's like it's not shifting focus at all. I'm very annoyed at this. Ah, uh, stupid fucking phone. Oh, it just did it. All right. You just have to switch it around a little bit. Okay. So we have here a GSM, a fancy GSM, Barossa Valley. Now it's fancy. That's important to remember. So let's have a look here. This Barossa Valley GSM, still no idea, is, as the label says, a little bit fancy. Greenish Shiraz Malot. So that's what GSM stands for. Greenish Miraz Malot. Okay, that, I said that correctly. Beautiful combination of these sweet, majestic grape varieties perfected in a true Barossa Valley style. Barossa Valley does make some good wines. I think they're on fire at the moment, but that's fine. They'll do it right. The nose is awash with ripe plums, sweet spices, and a hint of savory, earthy tones. So I need to be on the lookout for ripe plums, sweet spices, and savory, earthy tones that add to the complexity... A beautifully balanced palette with fine tannin, providing good texture and excellent length. Uh, they don't mention girth. That That's a down down point right there. Complemented by the flavors of plum, spice, and licorice. Okay, so now we've got plum, spice, and licorice with hints of vanilla. So we've got some extra stuff they threw in at the last minute. Uh, a dense mouth-filling mid-palate and long textural finish to combine to create a wine that is rich and elegant. Now, I'm going to level with you here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to notice it's wine. I'm going to be like, yep, that's wine. And we're going to be just about done there. So let's just get to uh, the barcode because I know that's uh, like you can't love that shit, right? Yeah, you do. All right. So here we go. Nine three four six six one seven zero 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 two eight. Now that might be a record for the number of zeros in a row in one of these guys. For you, uh, untitled super fans, maybe you want to check through and see if we've had more zeros in a row before. I don't think we have, but if you can prove me wrong, I might send you something like some merch. Not for untitled. There's, there's no untitled merch, but I can send you something. I'll find something cool to send you. But, like, let's say, if you, if you want me to send you something, if there is something with more zeros, just tell me what it is. First one, I'll send you something. If there is nothing, I'm just going to need a full list of all the barcodes that's ever been on the show, broken down by episode, to, to confirm that there hasn't been more zeros in a row. If you do either of those, I'll send you something. 
Okay. So here we go. Produced and bottled by the wine cellar. So this is cellar, but with an S instead of a C. PTY LTD, so proprietary limited. Yep. 175 Fullerton Road, Dulwich. Dulwich. SA 5065 Australia contains sulfites produced with the aid of milk. Products and traces of cum may remain. All right, that's fine. So the fancy GSM Barossa Valley 2017. Uh, now it does have a bow tie on the front and it's uh, 2017. And uh, it's 8.6 standard drinks, which is also a uh, very healthy, very good for you. 14.5% alcohol by volume. 750 mils, please recycle. Is there a thing which tells me pregnant women are bad on this one? I don't, I don't see it. All right, I think this one might be safe for pregnant women to drink. So, you know, if you're a pregnant woman, please keep that in mind. This is probably the wine for you. All right. Uh, just moving the mic there. Ignore the, like, horrible sounds that may have occurred with that. Uh, just, just don't think about it. Oh. <sighs> All right, hold on, let me just move that a bit. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's uh, do this. All right, so uh, here we are, we've got our wine. All right. Uh, cool. Now, as I mentioned, this is uh, wine that we're gonna be trying today. Wine is uh, good. Yes, yes, wine is uh, good. See, it's wine. That's good. Yeah. Wine is very good. Now, it's open. Now, this one isn't carbonated, so you didn't get any of those cool noises that we're used to. So, normally we would go with the carbonated uh, treats in this channel. But, you know, we're doing something a bit different. Actually, I'm going to turn the light on. That's probably going to help substantially. I may have to crop my face out of that. Um, let's see how that goes. All right, so here we are. We've got our wine cup, C-U-P cup. All right, let's do this. Yep, wait a minute, you gotta see the pour. Spilled a bit on the table. Lost some points for that. There we go. All right, so we've got some good wine here. Now you might notice it's uh, red in color. It may in fact be a red wine. Um, GSM might mean red. They should honestly just write red on the bottle. Uh, this is a red wine. They could have uh, made that a lot clearer, but that's okay. I like red wine. Red wine is delicious. Okay, give that a smell. I've not smelled it yet, so just tell me how that is. All right. Now I'll check it out. You're right, that smells like wine. Now this is actually quite a weak smelling wine. If I were gonna say, like if I wanted a wine that I'd really smell and go, man, everyone in the fucking suburb is gonna know I'm drinking wine right now. This is probably not it. This is like a very not stinky wine. So this wine, not super stinky. So if you're looking for maybe something stealthy to drink in the office, this wine might be for you. Like just something you can drink on the DL just a little bit. You're going to be like, mm, going to drink some wine, like a lot of wine at my desk and I don't want too many people to know about it. This may in fact be the wine for you. All right. Now let's uh, give this a drink here. Oh, fuck. I just inhaled a bunch of that, trying to make it make noise for the microphone. Like slurping it up. Oh God, my throat fucking hurts. All right, hold up. I'm going to uh, wash that pain down with some wine. <clears throat> All right, so what I'll say, this does indeed taste like wine. Uh, I would, like if I were drinking this, I would say it tastes like red wine. Now, I drink a lot of Shiraz, so I'm gonna say it doesn't taste exactly like Shiraz, it tastes like something else. Uh, would I say that it had ripe plums, sweet spices, a hint of savory, earthy, Earthy, maybe. It tastes like dirt, like filth, you know? So I'd say, yeah, it tastes like something that, that could have been on the ground. Uh, it's not very good. But from what I know about tosses in any sort of area, well, except for jerking it. Jerking it's sweet, but let's say the sort of people who are passionate about wine or anything else, if it tastes bad, you go, mmm, that's a complicated drink. Wait, sorry. 
Hmm, that's a complex beverage. Yes, you can certainly tell that I don't like this. Very complex. All right, so uh, you can probably tell I don't like it by the fact I'm not downing half the bottle on camera. Uh, this gets an 8.6 out of 10. Um, not super psyched on it. Don't recommend it. Uh, I'd say if you get this around the $4 mark, you're probably sitting pretty. I would not pay $7 for it again, though. Okay, this has been an untitled review. Um, I'm like a guy. Actually, so I'm actually a doctor. As terrifying as that is. If any of you have any medical or other questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, so Dr. Untitled Guy here. Very, very happy to talk about, you know, any doctor related things you have to ask. Now, I just do want to clarify. Uh, I'm not a doctor of medicine. I have an actual PhD. So keep that in mind. But that said, I, I would think my medical advice, whilst I'm not going to legally say that it's medical advice, uh, my advice to entertainment purposes only, uh, it's probably more reliable than the advice given by most medical professionals because I have an actual higher degree. Unlike those cunts who spent, you know, you know they can call themselves doctor after three years of medical school? Like you can't practice, but you can call yourself doctor. Fuck that. Jesus Christ. All right, so someone with an actual uh, PhD, very happy to answer your medical or other questions. Um, even questions about drinking. What I will say, some of the best drinkers I know have higher degrees, so uh, let's get into that. Ask your questions, comments, uh, remember to hit subscribe or like, or <sighs> there's the thing they say about the bell, I don't quite know what that does, you can click it if you like. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I'm like, you know, 10,000 subscribers away from being able to monetize or do anything else, it doesn't fucking matter. Fuck it, unsubscribe for all I care. Whatever. Fuck you. Have a good day. And remember to keep masturbating. I cannot stress this enough how important it is to jerk off regularly. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. Fuck.